So Nigahiga recently made a video tackling the issue of Asians around the world being attacked by people because of COVID-19, mostly in the United States. And this recent upload made me realize two things. Ryan has been on this website since the beginning, basically, and he's still producing entertaining content while still retaining a decent view count. That, that's a pretty big feat. The second thing I've noticed is that Ryan is way better at handling serious situations while at the same time being funny than Lily Singh. So I thought it'd be funny to compare the two videos while at the same time making fun of Lily Singh for the thousandth time. Yeah, this old fucking man just refuses to learn her lesson. We tried telling her why she's not funny every day and she still continues to produce the same daily shit jokes. But then again, she probably doesn't listen to most of us because we got that Caucasian pigment. Tonight on Channel 6 News, the increase of violence towards Asian Americans continue to rise during this coronavirus pandemic and why scientists believe you should reconsider your next hate crime. Besides Ryan taking the initiative to have a news type theme for the video, what I really appreciate is him showing proof of this happening around the world. We're already seeing why he's talking about this and why this is an important issue. It overall shows why he made this video in the first place. Now let's have a look at Lily's introduction. You know, when something horrible happens in the world, you'll see the rise of two types of people. Number one, people who don't let fear divide them and instead choose to come together. And number two, racist idiots who don't deserve an internet connection. And look at this comment under my YouTube video. Go back to your country, you terrorist Paki, Afghan Indian Muslim slut. Hashtag make America great again. Now, as you can see, both videos are tackling the topic of racism, but they couldn't be further apart from quality. Just to remind you, Ryan displayed his reasoning for making his video through multiple videos of Asian Americans being harassed and assaulted. Lily's reasoning behind making her video is a YouTube comment with no upvotes. If you want to portray this as a big issue, then you shouldn't use a comment with no likes. Surprisingly, that doesn't really come across as threatening. I'm Ryan Anchorman, and this is Channel 6 News. While COVID-19 infections continue to ramp up here in the United States, so have the reported hate crimes against Asian Americans. Again, Ryan's theme is a news channel and he takes advantage of this. He doesn't just simply put news headlines on the bottom. Ryan pays attention to how he speaks and how he portrays his own mannerisms. Because the way he's showing himself here is as if he's an actual news journalist. The fact that he would include so much detail shows that he's passionate about what he's talking about. Lily's theme is, I'm guessing, being a teacher and she's teaching us. <laughs> Welcome. We'll begin by taking attendance. Are you here? Of course you are. YouTube comments are how you feel validated. Lily doesn't even take advantage of the theme she has. She just takes this opportunity to be incredibly passive aggressive and Ryan does kind of have that in his video, but for the most part he's calm. And he never gets to the point of being as boisterous as Lily. Her tone is just way too passive aggressive. Both videos exaggerate on racist issues for comedic effect, but there's a clear distinction between the two. Again, Ryan takes advantage of his theme by comedically overemphasizing the two different locations of Asian Americans and Chinese residents within Wuhan. There's actually a geographic difference between the Asian Americans living here in the US and the Asian people living in Wuhan, China. As you can see, the jokes here are actually well thought out and tie into the subject. Lily's jokes are not only unfunny, but are also sometimes just random. Today we're going to be taking a trip around the world, so you'll need to pack. It's probably been years since you've had the chance to use your passport, just like your penis. But don't worry, this time you'll actually take off. This little joke kind of indicates that the people she's directing this video towards are men. Now, we're all aware that Lily Singh is a big fucking misandrist, but what confuses me about this joke is that this video is directed towards racist people. So, can women not be racist? To go back to my foreign country, we'll need to fly a long 45 minutes all the way back to Canada. Oh yeah, she likes to leave in these long pauses as well to indicate that she's so fucking funny. And to top off the cringe, her facial expression becomes smug, as if she already wasn't irritating enough. Unlike her, when Ryan makes his jokes, he doesn't leave in these long pauses, he just keeps on going. When you leave in long pauses, it's like you're expecting your audience to laugh and implying that you're funny. And it's kind of a turn off when you give off the impression that you think you're really funny. The opportunity for people to judge how funny you are is through your own jokes, not long pauses. So you can wait for people to laugh. We ain't got no sports, we ain't got no toilet paper, we ain't got no jobs, below average IQ, no money, we gotta marry our own cousins now, we smell like ass, and it's all because of them damn ching chongs running around eating bats. It's ridiculous. Yeah, let's see how funny this segment would be with long pauses. 
We ain't got no sports. We ain't got no toilet paper. We ain't got no jobs. Below average IQ. <laughs> no money. We gotta marry our own cousins now. <laughs> we smell like ass. <laughs> and it's all because of them damn ching chongs. <laughs> I mean, some of them have never even been to China. It's amazing. How is that even possible? That is incredible. You will not believe the things we're finding. I mean, we're starting to see patterns that not all Asian Americans are even Chinese. No. This is where Ryan becomes more passive aggressive, but it's in a way where it's playful and comedic. While Lily's tone was leaning more towards the condescending side, he exaggerates with details to get his point across. And unlike Lily, the jokes are actually fucking funny. In this video, Ryan plays a stereotypical Southern character, and while that is kind of overplayed, he does do new things with it at least. For example, the stereotypical character claims that he can speak Chinese by saying that he took Japanese and then he proceeds to speak Korean. And just little stuff like that adds a lot to the overall comedy in the video. But I'm assuming you thought my country was somewhere else. So let's fly across the world to the country of Paki Afghan India. India is all the way over here across the ocean. So unfortunately, you won't be able to drive your trailer there. You know, if I'm gonna be honest, I think the trailer joke is funny, but it's kind of ruined immediately after by a Durant Frump joke. Oh, Kofefe. And then out of nowhere, she proceeds to just insult Republicans. The aircraft you're flying will probably be a double decker, which means it'll have about 300 to 400 people on board, which is approximately the same amount of people at Trump's inauguration. JK, that's an alternative fact but you're probably used to those from watching so much Fox News. I'm not a Republican or a Democrat, don't really give a fuck, but I do get annoyed when people take any opportunity to make something political out of nowhere, and it's usually from people like Lily who are the last human beings I would get my political information from. In short, nobody fucking asked. Quick travel tip, if you're going to India, they don't kill cows there, so there's no beef. But don't worry, because if you kill anything, it'll be considered mental illness. So you're good. Please clap. <laughs> One of Ryan's final jokes in this video is about him being portrayed by the same person. It's a funny joke, but becomes funnier when it ties into the fact that the man who is racist against Asians is being played by one. Wow, my God, it's like Ryan is trying to produce comedy, not throw in blanket statements. And as a bonus, the jokes are revolved around the content in the video. To be honest, whether I went back to my country of Pakistan, India, or even Canada, I don't see how that would benefit you, since my tax bracket helps pay for your kid's education. Uh. You're welcome, Timothy. Lily, no offense. Actually, a lot of offense. Four minutes of you acting like an asshat and not being funny is not worth dropping the mic. These type of actions only make you look bad. You try to portray yourself as the baddest bitch in the world while Ryan comes off as genuine. Unlike you, he doesn't have to try hard to be funny or get his point across. 